You all are welcome to our Zoom session tonight. You are welcome. You all are welcome. Good evening. Good evening. How's your weekend going? So today we are talking about Web 3.0. Web 3.0. Guys, I'm going to paste um, the Zoom link on the chat session. So kindly check it and help share with your friends so that you can benefit from another episode of our Zoom session. As always, there is a lot to dish out. There is a lot of knowledge to gain. There's a lot of updates to be shared. There's a lot of information that is being shared here every Saturday. So guys, as you are joining in, kindly check the chat session and help uh, repost the Zoom link so that more people can join in. Nice, nice. We are going to start anytime soon. Information is power. It is money. You need to be informed where you are in the crypto space. And that is why we are here tonight. Crypto Base Media is here to inform you. We are here to educate you. We are talking about Web 3.0 today. Great, more people are joining in. So as you're coming in, kindly share the Zoom link, share it to your friends, and then we'll start right away. No time to waste. We'll start right away. Good, that's nice. Okay, we are starting right away. We are starting right away. So guys, um, my name is Rock, a crypto trader, content creator, and a crypto analyst. And then Trader Kirian. Trader Kirian is joining us anytime soon. Anytime soon. So guys, um, let's get on with it. Web 3.0. Web 3.0. What does it really mean? I like to be sharing my uh, screen with you guys like I've always done so that you can get to see my um, presentation slides so that I can screenshot anything you don't understand. You can go back to it definitely later. So guys, Web 3.0, for you to understand, for you to understand what Web 3.0 is, you need to understand what Web is. You need to understand what Web is. So I'll be sharing my uh, screen with you guys right now. Great, great. Now to my slides. Great. Now, I hope you all can see uh, my shared screen. I hope you all can see my shared screen. So Web 3.0, what does it really mean? Like I said earlier, um, you need to first um, understand what this like the World Wide Web, what does it mean? So a web is like, don't let me say A, let me say the World Wide Web is like datas, web pages, pictures, videos, and all those other online contents that can be accessed in a web browser. What is a web browser? Your Safari, your Safari on your iPhone, if you're an iPhone user, if you use Android, is uh, your Chrome, or let me say your uh, Firefox, or whatever browser you are using. So you use web browsers to access um, the web. But the thing is that many people miss, uh, they, they, they misinterpret or they, they make mistakes or they, they confuse web and the internet together. Truly, they work together, but you are not to confuse the two. You are not to confuse the two. And then I'm going to clarify that confusion tonight. The internet. the internet is like a network connection that you use to access the web. The web is online. You use the internet to access the web through, or through a web browser. So guys, is that internet that I used to send email and then you used to access the World Wide Web? So there are a lot of data on the internet. Now, the evolution of Web 1, Web 2, and Web 3. Presently, we are using Web 2. Currently, we are using Web 2. But um, in the beginning of 1989, we started with uh, Web. That, that's when Web was introduced to us. And then at that time, Web was something like a read-only. You were not able to uh, give feedbacks. 
It was only a, a one-way web. You know, when there's a communication that is only one way, as a user, you can only read whatever is on the internet. You can't reply. Like, okay, your Facebook now, you can reply to people, you can chat with people, you can interact with people, interact with your friends. But in Web1, there is nothing like that. It is only few people that create content online that you get to view. You only get to view it. Your opinion is not needed. Like your opinion, you can, there's no way you can share your opinion on there. Now, Web 2.0, brought um, a read and write solution for us. Like you can read, you can create content, you can upload stuff, and then plus the social apps that we have, it has made the world a global village. You can as well chat with somebody that is in China within a blink of an eye, and then the person is going to see your message as fast as possible. That is Web 2.0 for you. Web 2.0 is very good, and that is what we are still using up to date. But what is Web 3.0? Web 3.0 is like, an advancement of what we have before. It's like an advancement of what we have before. I hope you guys can still hear me. I hope you guys can still hear me. Let me know in the chat session, please, if you can still hear me. Send me an I in the chat session. Send me an I in the chat session if you can still hear me. Great, great, great. I love this. I love this. So um, we are getting on with it. So now I said the web one is a static web and it is read only. It's like a one way kind of thing. There is no feedback, a one way web. There is no user interaction. As a user, you can interact with the internet. You can interact with the web. Right now, we are using Web 2.0. Web 2.0 started in 2005. Right now, you can interact with the web. You can reply to a blog post. You can uh, reply to your friend's post on Facebook. Many people can create content. Many people can create content on the web and uh, using the uh, social media apps. So guys, what is Web 3.0? Web 3.0 is simply decentralization. Just like the same idea between blockchain, the same idea with cryptocurrency, decentralization, power in the hands of the people, power in the hands of the users, not just a central authority. That is definitely Web 3.0. So guys, don't get it confused. I'm going to explain it. You know, you make use of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Telegram, all these social networking apps, all these social media apps, they are all controlled. Okay. Let's take, for instance, when um, WhatsApp went out of, or should I say WhatsApp was act? I don't even know what they later called it that time. But there was a time that WhatsApp stopped functioning. Then people went on to Twitter. They went to express um, their pains that they've lost a lot of money. WhatsApp has stopped working, this and that. The reason this is happening is because WhatsApp is centralized. WhatsApp is like controlled by uh, Meta. Yes, it has been changed to Meta now. WhatsApp is now owned by Meta. So. <clears throat> Facebook also, Telegram also, Twitter, all of them, they make use of um, a cloud storage to store all your information, the data you give them, your personal data, your name, your addresses, your card info. They have all the access to all these things. Why? Because you have inputted them, you have given them those information when you are registering with them. That is like, it's like trading all your informations to get to use their app. It is as simple as that. Many people say these apps are free. Truly, they are free, but definitely they are going to treat some other things. If something else happens, let's say someone else asks Facebook or something, then your data is vulnerable. Someone else can easily see whatever you are doing. They are going to see your lifestyle, everything right there. So guys, I hope you understand what Web3 is. Web 2.0 is like a centralization. Although they gave room, they gave space for interaction, they gave space uh, for feedbacks, they gave space for a writing, for, for you to create content. People create content on YouTube. Musicians drop their music. They, they drop their music uh, on Spotify, on Apple Music, on those streaming platforms. But right here in Web 3, you can also do that. But in this space, it is decentralized. It is not controlled by anybody. And normally in a centralized uh, environment, these people, they have their rules. If you don't follow their rules, they can remove your content. In Web 3.0, it is decentralized. It is totally decentralized. The rules, everything, the governing is by the people. And then we are still going to get to that later with the uh, DAOs. So guys, um, I don't want to put uh, these too much technical terms to you guys. So I'm just trying to simplify everything. Just trying to simplify everything, trying to admit more people in. 
so they can also benefit. Oh, great, 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 great. Great. So, guys, Web uh, 3.0, I've said it earlier that they have control over your content. They have control over your content. Your content is not only yours. Okay, guys, sorry for the breaking transmission. Yeah. So, like I said earlier, nobody will remove uh, your content from a Web 3.0 YouTube because normally YouTube have restrictions. If you don't follow their guidelines, if you don't follow their terms of service, they can as well remove your content from there. So, definitely what I'm trying to say is that Web 3 is decentralized, is not controlled by one person. It is like the power in the hands of the people. That is basically what Web 3 is. And then, normally, this Web 3... It's not yet fully operational. We are just seeing like the tip of the icebergs and stuff like that. But guys, we have um, projects that are focused towards Web3 that have um, Web3 storage. An example is Filecoin. Um, if you're a crypto trader here, you must have uh, come across Filecoin. Or if you haven't, you can as well check for Filecoin and then you see what I'm talking about. So this Filecoin, there's a way they um, break these datas, they break it into pieces, and then they make it person to person. Like the storage is not only controlled by one person. The storage is not only controlled by one person. You know, in your Google storage now, or your Apple storage is controlled by Apple, is controlled by Google. But this one is not only controlled by one central person. These datas are shared. They are shared, they are decentralized. They are on the blockchain. It is as easy and simple as that. So, um, okay, like I said there, yeah, Facebook does not have to control your personal data. Again, you have control and governance over everything. Governance uh, is basically DAOs, and there are coins that are like DAO coins, decentralized autonomous organization. We have a lot of them, whereby um, if you are holding the coin, you can have a say in the uh, community. You can have a say in the development of the coin. So now, this one related to Web3. If you are holding a coin, you can as well set the rules of a uh, Web3 social media. You can as well set, because normally where there is no rules, there's going to be problems. So definitely you can as well set the rules if you are holding or you are participating in a Web3 DAO. So guys, um, what to expect? What to expect from Web3.0? We already know that we have um, social networking apps that are decentralized. An example is Subsocial and Steam. You can as well look it out. We have Subsocial and Steam. And then what will happen to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all of those social media apps that we are used to? The thing is, they're going to join the trend. That's just it. They'll join the trend. They don't have any choice because they won't be left behind. They won't want to left. Be, they won't want to be left behind. As as you can see, it even Facebook itself. They are already joining the trend of metaverse, this and that. They are they are letting us know that okay, they are also in the trend and so on. So the thing is that in the future, when Web three is like really booming, these apps they are definitely going to join in, in the trend, and then maybe in some way they will try and um adjust a thing or two and then they'll be built on the blockchain or something like that so we can as well enjoy them but the thing is that if they don't do that <laughs> we can as well leave them behind because it's evolving we had web one before it's, it's got better we had web two right now web three is coming we are seeing web three web three is coming we are seeing the tip of the icebergs so now musicians also what's the case for musicians normally we have spotify Apple Music, other streaming apps that we all subscribe to. These musicians, they get money when you stream their songs. And then all these things are controlled by Spotify. They are controlled by um, the streaming platforms. And you know, of course, that is centralized. In a decentralized case, it's going to be the same thing again. The artists will have their own control to their own contents. Nobody will tell them, don't uh, don't uh, release this type of music. It's not yet, I mean, th this music is not uh, particular to our own streaming platform. 
no set of rules or any other thing that is going to disturb the musicians. And then they are still going to be earning their money directly. You know, normally Spotify and Apple Music, they will definitely get their own cuts from that. Well, the cuts from Decentralized Zone, I can't say their own because they will definitely be cuts to at least keep the platform yeah, rolling. You know, it's, 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 it's going to be as much <laughs> as um, we expect it in the centralized aspect. And then these streaming platforms can also, they can as well go... Uh, decentralized if they don't want to get left behind they don't want to get left behind they can as well join in the trend so guys if you are just joining us um the recorded version this missing is being recorded so the recorded version will be pasted on our uh, youtube channel so welcome guys welcome guys so great um i'd like to proceed yes so okay we already have a, a web3 streaming platform like a blockchain based streaming platform it is called audios like when you want to say audio or audios you can as well look this out audios presently they have over 5 million users and then up to like 100,000 artists including um the chain smokers you guys know the chain smokers like they're like part of um the musicians currently on audio so it's a thing that if you stream their music on audios they are going to get the money everything is with them and then controlled by them it is as easy as that normally we believe that internet is supposed to be free no restrictions and everything and that is what we are looking for that is what blockchain is preaching that is what bitcoin is preaching that is what web3 is preaching so guys definitely we are going to evolve into the age of not uh, uh not having to trust any other party for my uh private information because definitely google they have your information you save your passwords with google passwords of plenty of accounts you save uh your your card details with google they have everything the same as um the ios operating system all these people they have all your data decentralized delete that it deletes that everything is now decentralized and in your own hands it is in the hands of the people person to person p2p so What's the connection between Web3 and blockchain? The connection between Web3 and blockchain is just that, you know, I've mentioned earlier that the idea behind the uh, these terms are that they are decentralized. So in the future, when uh, Web3 is fully developed, definitely there will be seamless integration. There will be interoperability. There will be automation between these three technologies, the blockchain, the cryptocurrency, the uh, Web3 technology, there's definitely going to be smooth transition between these um, technologies. And this is what I mean. This is what I mean, guys. If uh, I'm making use of a, a decentralized storage, of a cloud storage, I can definitely put anything I want to save. I'm going to put it there and it's on the blockchain. And then if I want to browse the web, I can as well browse a, a decentralized web. So everything is definitely in my hands. I have the control to everything. It's just as easy as that, guys. And then transactions are definitely going to be um, automated through smart contracts. Through smart contracts. Smart contracts are like um, a technology that automatically um, approves without a third party. You don't need a third party. You see, everything is listening the idea of third party deleting the idea of centralized stuff is deleting the idea of third party so smart contracts we allow transaction between two people without the need of third party as far as um the the requirements are being met as far as the set um, requirements are being met by the both parties then transactions will go on so guys um why are we telling you this why are we telling you um web 3.0 why do you want to why do we want you to know about web 3.0 one thing about uh, the crypto uh, world is that you need to be informed like you need to be fully informed if you are not informed you might be losing money if you are not informed you might not make money your friends will make 300 percent 500 percent 600 percent 700 percent just because they get informed and that is why we advise people that you should pay for communities that inform you you should pay to get informed when the need arises there is no arm in it it's like getting it's very very important so our love world crypto community it is there for you when you need to get informed you get informed because you've paid for it earlier definitely and then it's not only about the community it's a course 
there's a course you are going to get education and then you are going to get informed. And then we as crypto-based media, we are trying all our best to get you informed. And that is the main reason why we are giving you this Web 3.0 year. So as I was saying, guys, as I was saying, uh, let me quickly check those at the waiting room so I can admit everyone in. So guys, Web 3.0 haven't the it's not yet fully built, it's not fully operational, but we've been seeing the tip of the iceberg. Like I mentioned earlier, I mentioned Firecoin or uh, audios, see people and theta, they are all in this uh, web three, they are all carrying like um the base in this web 3.0. So the thing is that the earlier you get this information, the earlier, I mean the more you get rich. This information yeah, informed early. Look at the person that is informed early, got into Bitcoin as early as uh, the days of five thousand dollars, three thousand dollars. Look at that. Or even people that got in as as early as the day of one dollars, and they did sell a bit of Bitcoin. Look at how rich these people are. Even if Bitcoin dips to whatever it's going to dip to, <laughs> they are still in massive profits. So it is just about that. You need to be informed. You need to be informed. If you look at the NFC world also. Uh, the people that got informed and then got in uh, some NFTs at cheaper prices, Western starts increasing, NFT starts selling for millions of dollars. So information updates, they are very, very important. And that is why we are bringing Web3 to you guys, so that when your friends are talking about Web3, when you are saying about uh, Web3 online, you won't just um, um, feel quiet, you won't just keep quiet. Crypto Biz Media is here to get you informed. So guys, um, applications that... It is for Web3. Like there are some applications that give us how Web3 is going to look like or what it is, and we are already even operating it. An example is the Siri on your iPhone, um, the your Amazon's Alexa, even your Samsung Bixby, all those voice assistants. You can as well say, okay, where's the nearest restaurant? And then is as is going to lead you to where the nearest restaurant is. Even Alexa. And even Siri itself, it has the power of saying, okay, switch off my lights. All those voice assistants, they can do all those artificial intelligence. They have this artificial intelligence built in. So they can as well do those things. If your lights, if the lights in your room is connected to them, then they can as well off your lights for you. So guys, another one I want you to know is Wolfram Alpha. If you are just hearing about Wolfram Alpha, make sure that you write it down. Wolfram Alpha. Wolfram Alpha, I'll call, I like to call it like something like a daddy to Google, like, a, a, a more advanced Google because normally Wolfram Alpha is comes with is like decentralized, it's like decentralized information on like Google, but it works similar to that. The reason is if you put on a search on Wolfram Alpha, you are going to see other um related items that comes up. But in the case of Wolfram Alpha, okay, let's say for instance, you search for Nigeria versus Senegal. On Google, we are going to see football matches. Google will bring you football matches. It will bring you Nigeria versus Senegal in football. It will give you Nigeria versus Senegal in uh, government, in their politics. What is similar? What is the differences? It just made life easier, like just super advanced and super details, guys. Super details, guys. So, guys, I understand that some of us might not... Um, we might not really get all these terms, these informations yet in our head. This Zoom meeting is as well recorded. It is recorded, so it's a thing you can go back and then watch it so you can understand everything that we've been trying to say, so that you can understand everything that we've been trying to say, guys. So, guys, uh, I would like to hand over the mic to Crypto Pastor. I would like to hand over the mic to Crypto Pastor. So, okay, great, great, great. Yeah. Crypto Pastor, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good evening, sir. You can. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, can you all hear me? If you can hear me, just send hi or say hi to the um, chat section. Say hi, if you can hear me. Say hi to the chat section. Yeah, yeah so um, good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Yeah, that's nice. 
So, um, not to waste much of your time, I would like to like thank Rock for the wonderful section he gave to us on Web 3.0. I believe you all have been richly blessed and you actually have, you have been, this is just more of like an eye opener of what Web 3.0 is all about, okay? So, just about this, just we having our um, freedom, like, okay. Sorry for the little break in transmission there, sorry. Okay, uh, Rock, um, thank you for the, um, seriously, this was an eye opener to me also. I, I really like, actually gained a lot from the Web 3.0, knowing, yes. well well, knowing fully well what Web 3.0 is all about, knowing what they're up to, we've been able to have a platform whereby we can just post whatever we like without restrictions, without people telling us, don't do this, don't do that, and all. Oh, this is just like a decentralized platform in the, of the internet, a decentralized aspect of the internet. So like he said, why is this important to you? This is important to you because the earlier you get into it, the better, okay? So I don't really want to talk much on that. I believe everybody understands this as easy as it is. Everybody understood clearly what Rob explained to us all. So what I really want to do today also, I actually want to talk about um, the market itself, the state of the market. A lot of people are, I can see a lot of people panicking, okay? I can see a lot of panic in the market right now. And a lot of people, are, a lot of people ask me questions. Boss, what's going on in the market? What's, what, do we, what, do we, what, do we, what do we stand to face in the market, okay? And all. So um, there's no need to panic. There's no need to FOMO. There's no need to panic sell, okay? Like as of today, Bitcoin actually, I was talking about Bitcoin analysis. I was actually talk about Bitcoin analysis today. Bitcoin actually dipped to 40K or below 40K today, around 39. Okay, I don't know, you guys have been about Russia and Ukraine tensions going on, and also Canada putting more strict regulations on crypto. I don't, I don't know if you guys have been. So these are part of the things that just happened in this crypto space. Like the news going on about Russia and Ukraine is actually affecting the crypto market. Not only even the crypto market, it's also affecting the stock market also. And also street regulations that Canada is trying to put on crypto is also affecting, you know, like I said, news also affect the market. So there's no need to actually panic sell. Okay, as of today, Bitcoin declined to about 0.3 percent. That's to about 39. If I'm not mistaken, Bitcoin is currently at 39 dollars 94 currently now. Okay, it breached, it slipped below 40 thousand dollars as of yes or today or yes today yesterday and today. You understand? So you see, um, you know, this news comes like this. You don't need to panic. Say, what just that? Just hold your positions because. This is not the first time China did their own, other countries did theirs, and we are still here. Okay. They like saying if China banned crypto, this will happen, that will happen. But unfortunately, reverse was the case. Okay. So that's just it. So the tensions over Russia wiped the, the current market over, of over $160 billion off the current crypto market capitalization this week because of the feud going on between Russia. To me, I feel this Russia and um, the market is moving according to the news. I don't like, I really don't like when the market is actually moving according to the news. I really don't like it, but it is what it is right now, okay? It is what it is right now. So what you have to do as a trader, because people ask me, okay, but at this point, see Canada right now, they're trying to put some sanctions on crypto wallets and also from regulation on crypto. And also it's kind of creating fear. This, this Russia and Canada stuff kind of creating fears, fear on, on traders. So, but you, at this point, if you look at the volume that is still going, steadily going in into um, Bitcoin this week, you see that eh, it's still, there's still high volume going into the Bitcoin market, if you check well. Okay, so um, I don't think there's any, any need to panic. At the same time, 
you are seeing that Russia wants to legalize Bitcoin and all. They pass a law trying to legalize. So you see, sometimes when you get, you, you should ignore the noise. You should kind of ignore the noise and just as a trader, you should just have a strategy. Know what you are doing. Ignore the noise. Just play your own part. And once you play your part, then leave the rest. Take the necessary risk management. Play your own part and just leave the rest to play out. As long as you have applied the proper risk management to whatever you are doing, you, are you don't have to just okay, say, okay, the market is like this. Um, I should start selling all my coins. Prime Minister. This guy said this. Prime Minister. You just have to just do what you have to do, apply the proper risk management, and I think you are safe in the market. You understand? So currently, I think the market is just is just is we're currently in an indecisive. I don't actually like trading in an indecisive market. I don't like trading in an indecisive market. I really don't like trading in an indecisive market, I repeat. So to me, I see the market is completely indecisive. So whatever you are doing, if you are not strong enough or you don't know how to use proper risk management, I think you should just leave the market for now. Sometimes just doing nothing is also a strategy. Doing nothing is also, you mustn't just trade every day. If you don't see a perfect setup, leave. You don't have to just press green button or press any button steady and send yourself very quick to your village. You understand? So sometimes just doing nothing is also a strategy. So the market is choppy and is indecisive. With a lot of news, a lot of things are happening right now. So you have to just be strategic about every move you are taking in this market. You understand? So to me, I can see a sharp decline in the market currently now. Because if we don't maintain this 40K, if we don't maintain this 40K um, position we are right now, I think we are going down below. You understand? If we cannot maintain the range of these 40K dollars, we are going to go down below. Like I posted an analysis on my Telegram section like I made earlier on my analysis. I said, okay, on the four item flow, right? they say like what to expect from buyers. The buyers currently now, at this point, we had this 40 40k that we are right now the buyers just have to take control right now in the market in order to turn the table or else if the sellers are still in control we are going further down i can bet you we are going if the buyer can the buyers cannot hold this current 40k position we are going further down but if the buyers can try their best and hold this current position now that we are in we can just express an uptrend in the short term. We can expect an uptrend in the in the short term. That's just a, just an result of the uptrend in the short term. But if we are going to test lower support from here, I guess we are going to enter the beginning of another new year market. So I feel the way I'm seeing this scenario, if the buyers can hold this position now, they can resume a rally to the upside. But the buyers cannot hold this current position. I think we are going to go further down. That is my own assumption of the market right now. Do you understand? So that's just what my view on the current, you know, on the current crypto market. That is my view currently. Okay. So let's see what, like I said, I don't like trading in a indecisive market. So I trade when I see a perfect setup, though you cannot say this, you cannot really tell that there's actually anything like a perfect setup. But if I see a setup that the probability of it going along with my strategy is on the high side, I will take the trade. But currently now, the market is not really safe. Okay, if you don't have proper risk management and proper strategy to take and to play safe, because it's all about capital, preservation at this point it's all about capital preservation you have to know how to preserve your capital so that you can trade another day if you don't trade today you will not die if you don't trade today you will not go to your village on time do you understand so let's 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 be on guard and let's know what we are doing 
there's some positions you don't even just trade. You have to just watch and observe and see what happens. You understand? And wait for the market to come to you. You wait for the market to come to you. So that is my own scenario on how I see where Bitcoin is currently heading to. The buyers need to take control at this point for us to see an uptrend. Anything that will make us lose this 40K, at this point, we are going further down. Do you understand? So that's just it on the current crypto market. And like I said, like I said, like I said, a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of feud and news going around the market. See USA also, they are, they are, they are actually like uh, USA also is in, talking about putting in some other regulation on crypto. All these things are just news trying to create fear among traders. You know, once there's fear amongst um, traders, okay? Once there's fear amongst traders, it tends to affect the micro, micro psychology and affect the movement on, 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 on the crypto market. You understand? So you are the trader, like I said, you are the trader. You don't have to just, you have to just ignore the noise and you know, pick, pick strategic, strategic uh, moves in the crypto market. You understand? So that's just it. And this is my opinion in the current market situation going on. So I hope the feud between Russia and Ukraine ends anytime soon. You know, you know, you know, actually the feud is actually causing a lot of confusion in the market. You know, Russia and Ukraine are very strong. They are very strong in the crypto and the stock market also. So that's just it. So we have to just, I hope that this feud ends anytime soon. You understand? So if not, I think we're going to see some red days. I can assure you, we're going to see some red days, some, some red days in this market very soon. Once, if this Russia, Russia and Ukraine invasion of 18 doesn't just come to an end once and for all, I'm going to experience some really, really red days. But you know, who are we? We can only react to the market. We cannot decide. We can only react to the market, but we cannot decide what happens in the market. We are not the owner of the market. My father is not the owner of the market. I can only tell you what I see currently now. I cannot predict the future. I cannot tell you tomorrow this is what will happen in the market. I cannot tell you next tomorrow this is what is going to happen. I can only tell you what I am seeing on the chart right now. Don't try to be a prophet of crypto. You understand? Just they said, trade what you see. Trade what you see on the chart. You understand? So what I'm seeing currently on the chart is that, okay, like I said, the buyers need to take control at this point. We are having some, uh, we're having some sharp declines in the market and the buyers need to take control at this point. You understand? So if the buyers don't take control at this point, we are going down, down, down. And it's not funny down there at all. It's not funny. It's not funny down there. So I believe at this point, you have to do your proper risk management to guard your, your portfolio, to guard your capital. You understand? So that's just my opinion, my humble opinion on what is going on currently in the market. This is where we will know. And as a trader, like I, I always say my platform, I said, I always say, I pray for those who have not seen the days of the bulls. Do you understand? That all of us will, 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 will be happy and will be patient enough so that we can experience the days of the bull. I know it's not everybody that have, have, have experienced a bullish market. So I hope all of us will be patient enough to experience a bullish market. So that's just it. Never forget one thing. Slow progress is still progress. At this point, you have to, at this point, I know this point will force, I know I always talk about learning how to com compound profit. At this point, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, look for huge profit from the market. This is the point, whereby wherever you see profit, I, I say like you see profit, take it, take it very fast. Wherever you see profit, take profit. Don't joke. If it's $10, take profit. $5, take profit very fast. You understand? This profit, this market does not belong to our father or anybody. Uh -huh. So wherever you see profit, take profit. You understand? Take profit and respect your stop loss at this point. If you are, if you are, if your um, if your trade hits your stop loss, respect it and leave. 
peacefully. Know that you now say, okay, let me increase my stop loss and see how it's going to look like. I can bet you, in the long run, you are going to incur the mother of all losses. Yeah, you, 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 your trade is in a loss already. Instead of you to cut your, your loss short, you say, no, let me increase my stop loss. This trade cannot go against me like this. A good trader, as a good trader, before you can consider yourself as a good trader, can you, can you, can, are you bold enough to leave or stay when price goes against you? So at this point, what I've been to, to make some money in this, at this point is what they call the power of compounding profits, the power of compounding profits. This is how I do it. I see if today, if I go into a trade, I get more 10 to 20%, I leave the trade. I, I look for another good setup. It's my, the market comes to me, I make a little money, I leave the trade. I don't just, I don't joke with my profit at all. Over time, your 10 dollars profit, your 5 dollars profit, your 6 dollars profit, over time, check in at, at the end of the month. I don't check my profit at the end of a week. I check my profit at the end of the month. Okay, how many successful, according to how many successful trades I have, how many trades I, in this game, losing is part of the game. So I check, I balance. In 50 trades I took, how many successful trades did I have? It's over 50. Okay, I lost 10. I got 40 successful trades. Your this the goal is bigger wins, lesser losses at this point. So if you can compound the profit, you know, okay, in this month I made such so, so amount of profit. Nice. I, I, I invested 100 dollars and I'm having about 800 dollars I made about 700 dollars It's a good, it's a good way, it's a good, it's a good run. So I advise you. At this point, that the market, the market is very indecisive. Don't move your stop loss or um, let a trade give your trade a bigger space or a bigger room for a trade to run. No, just do the needful, do the proper risk. Fix your stop loss, even one percent, two percent, three percent from your entry. Then stick to it. If the trade, I can bet you, if the trade is going to be a good trade, it's going to be a good trade. If it's going to be a bad trade, it's going to be a bad. That I always tell you. Never forget that slow progress is still progress. A lot of people cannot combine. You cannot see yourself making ten dollars and be happy. You cannot see yourself making twenty dollars and happy. You want to make hundred percent. You don't do things that way. Take profit and succeed. Take profit and run for your village people. Do you understand? So that justice. So remove pride and remove bias from trading. I'm telling you, you'll be a very very successful trader. And again, before at this point, I feel. Most of that before going into a trade. I mean, most of that before going into a trade, they don't even know why they are going into a trade. They don't even know how they will leave the trade. That's it. If you don't have a strategy, you cannot make it. You cannot make it in this space if you don't have a strategy. So before I go into any trade, like I said, I, I, I work with setups. Before I go into a trade, I'll tell you, okay, I'll tell myself, why am I going to in the, into this trade? What did I see? What are the what are the negativity of this trade? You write it down. Okay, and you see, if you can write this down, why are you going to trade? And this thing you wrote down, and later on it worked out. Try it again, try it over and over again. That's it, that's how to get a strategy. You wrote why you entered a trade, and this is how you entered it, this is how you left, and it worked out like that. You threw the trade from that coin again. This is how I entered it, this is, how, this is what I saw that I entered this trade. This is how I entered this trade. This is what happened. This is how I fixed my stop loss, and it worked for you. Try it repeatedly, and you have gotten a strategy that works for you. That's how to pick a strategy that works for you. So that's just it. So that is just how the market works. So there will always be 1,001 trades to trade. The market will keep coming to you at, see, the market will keep coming to, at you with everything that for still. Sometimes we are, you'll be like, God, what am I doing wrong? Why is my trade not working? That's just, that's just how the market works. But don't just complicate things. Keep it simple. Be calm. And the market will definitely pay off. Stick to your trading system. You understand? That's what really matters. So stick to your trading system. Don't try to, don't try to just like over, I don't know how to put it. I don't know how to put it. Don't over, don't overdo it. Just keep it simple. Just keep it calm. Just do the needful. And let the market come to you. I'm telling you, you are going to live a fulfilled trading life. I don't think that, okay, because you're losing today, means you keep, see, every trading loss is an opportunity to become a better trader. Mark my word. Every trading loss is an opportunity 
to become a better trader. So if you lose today, just look at that. Okay, I lose today. I'm, I'm sure this loss will make me just rather oh, what made me to lose today? What did I do wrong? Did I take did I have to go and take a revenge trade? Did, did I over did I increase my stop loss? Did I did I follow my strategy or not? Write it down. It should not be as a lesson to you. There will always be one time trading opportunities every day. Just wait for it. See, see, I okay, Trilakarian that the woman Trilakarian was we were discussing. He told me he, he did a trading setup of um he, he did a setup set up no hit till like one week and set up hit that one week and actually worked as exactly as he planned it. So be, like what I'm trying to tell you is that this this regards patient you don't have to trade with like, like I said, 1,000 of trading opportunities, there will be 1,000 trading opportunities every day. What you just have to do is just wait for the best one or two every day. Just for the best. Be patient enough and wait for the best one or two every day. And I can tell you that your patience will pay out. Like I said, Tria Karen, he told me about a coin. Yeah, so it was AXX. How he mapped out the strategy and took over almost a week before the coin got to that setup. And it moved massively and they made massive profit. That's just how it worked. So I really, I really don't want to deviate from the topic of the which is Web 3.0. Web 3.0. I just want to tell you how to work and how to stay profitable in this current market situation. How to stay profitable in this current market situation. You have to be very, very calm at this point and let the market decide and let the market come to you. Do you understand? So that will be all for today from me. I just want to just tip, I just want to let you guys just know how to maneuver and how to work within or with this market situation. So I will hand over the mic back to Rock. Rock, thanks for um, having me. Okay. Thank you very much. I really appreciate Christian you guys. Pastor. And I can't wait for you guys to, you know, join our community anytime soon so you can see more of our activities. You can see what we are doing and how it's going and what and what how we are, you know, working the market to make ourselves a profitable traders. So I really appreciate Rock for having me today. I appreciate you guys Thank for you. always turning up to to you know i know it's not easy to stay up 8 p.m just to hear us speak and hear us talk thanks for always um coming through for us too we appreciate you and if you have any questions you can ask your question i'm ready to answer you so rock i'm handling the mic over to you yes thanks thank you very much once again crypto welcome pastor. thank you crypto pastor Thank you very much, Crypto Pastor. We really enjoyed the session and then we learned a lot from you. We learned a lot. Guys, this is how we do it every Saturday. Every Saturday, this is how we do it. This is how we learn. This is how we um, become profitable traders. This is how we become better traders. Our Zoom sessions, that's, those are part of um, the perks that comes with Crypto Business Media. When you subscribe to Crypto Business Media, when you have us, viewing our statuses, checking us on Telegram and others on all social medias. That is where you get to enjoy all for free. You get a Zoom session every Saturday that makes you stay updated. And if you want to enjoy the best benefits, like if you want to be very, very, very profitable, then you join our crypto community. I've posted all the links in the chat session. You guys should do well to check it out. And if you are just coming in, um, the recorded version will be posted on YouTube later. So it's be posted on YouTube. Definitely, you're not missing anything. So if you have any question, please ask them. If you have any question related to uh, Web 3.0 or related to the current market analysis that Crypto Pastor has done for us tonight, you can ask them in the chat session and then we'll be replying them. We'll be replying those questions of yours. So please ask your questions. I'm going through the chat session right now. If you guys have any questions, just kindly ask. Okay, I think I think um, you guys understood everything we talked about. So I don't think there's any question. Okay, some people are just coming in. Great. Okay, if you have any question, you can drop them in the chat session. If you have any question, you can drop them in the chat session. Okay, this person said, what's trending in the... Okay, great, great. What's trending in the Web 3.0 now so people can join in? Well, currently now, currently now, the market is um, down. You guys get Bitcoin is like drawing everything. 
right now. But I know if you want to get what is trending, then you can as well uh, make a search of Web 3.0 coins. And then I did that earlier, and then I was uh, shown a list of coins, like Filecoin, Coin, um, a lot of it's Filecoin, Coin. Um, I think uh, all those, um, th there are some projects that are Polkadot based that are uh, focused towards Web3. I focus towards Web3, so you can as well just search yourself. But I know definitely that when I first hear of Web3, Filecoin, Filecoin comes to my head, and then Filecoin is like really far from the all time. I, I'm not saying this, I'm not saying you should go and buy Filecoin. You should make sure you look at your strategy and then you set your trades well. Any trades you are going to enter at all, any trades you are going to enter, make sure you set it well. Just as Crypto Pastor has said, you set your entry, exits. Uh, uh, stop loss, invalidation points, everything. We've discussed this in our previous Zoom sessions where you have to set everything right so that you can make it right for yourself. A big thank you to Crypto Pastor for uh, showing us uh, the way tonight, for telling us all those analysis tonight because, guys, it's not actually easy to, like, check in the charts, hours on the screen, and then looking at it and then come to uh, tell other people so that they can benefit Crypto Pastor is really doing a good job. We're really doing a great job at crypto based media. And then we appreciate we appreciate everything. We appreciate everything. So, guys, okay, I think there are some other uh, questions. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Let me try and mute. Okay. 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 Great. So, um, I will check through the other questions now. So somebody said I entered a trade when it is $25, but I didn't take my profit and it went to $15. What will I do? You see, the thing is, I'm very sure that uh, maybe you are a beginner. So that's why I'm asking this question because like I said earlier, when you set your trades right, there's risk management, there is stop loss. You can as well set that. You can set your take profits. You know the points you have to take profits. You take profits at different resistance levels. That, those are the places you take your profits. If it's not hitting your profits and then it it's your stop loss, fine. You're going to hold your money. Don't do revenge trading. So the thing is that you just have to learn. You just have to learn. You just have to learn. That is what you need to do. That is what you need to do. So, okay. Someone said, what do you think about Baby Dodge? We are not here to promote any coin or talk about any coin or baby dodge or any other thing we are just we are just trying to let you know about web 3.0 trend that's what we are trying to let you know that, that, that's what we want to tell you guys that's what i want to tell you guys so this person that said ah please don't do this again please don't do this again kindly disregard this person message that said i have an nft blah 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 please kindly disregard this message you don't send message like this to um, zoom sessions it is called a Zoom session for a reason. So people can learn not to promote any other thing, not to promote any other thing. We basically told you guys what Web 3.0 is, and then we hope that you understand everything on Web 3.0. So guys, thank you very much for attending this session. We are going to host another session, definitely, next week, Saturday. Same place, same time on crypto based media. So, guys, thank you. We really appreciate. Thank you for uh showing up tonight. And then when next you are coming next Saturday, make sure you tell your friends, tell your friends about crypto based media. I'm going to paste uh our WhatsApp link. I'm going to paste our WhatsApp link in the chat session now. So tell your friends about uh crypto based media. Yeah, they're able to join crypto based media so that they can get crypto updates. If they are losing on trades, they can get crypto updates, market updates that will make them be profitable traders. And then, if you also want to get our course and join our community, it is right here. It is right here. Make use of this link that I just posted right now. So, guys, thank you very much for tonight. Thank you very much for tonight. So, I think uh, that will be all. Crypto Pastor, I don't know if there is other thing you want to add. Uh, I don't know if there is other thing you want to add, Crypto Pastor. I think we are done for tonight. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Crypto Pastor, are you there? Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Um, actually, I have nothing to add. I think 
I think sometimes some days like this, you just have to keep it simple and watch how the market plays out. Okay, so thumbs up to everybody who have been staying strong in market. Okay, and uh, to that person dropping, please avoid that number. Uh, whoever dropped that number of um, claiming to have an NFT um, white list, whatever, that is a very wrong impression. I don't know where he's seeing, seeing that from. And I think you guys should be careful of such people. I am not a prophet if you're all who is killed. I can't tell you when Bitcoin will be bullish. Like I said, there's nobody who can tell you that at this particular point, Bitcoin will be bullish. There's no prophet in this space, okay? But as a trader, we can only tell you what we see on the chart. We can only tell you what's going on currently now in the market, okay? So I can't tell you that tomorrow Bitcoin will be bullish, next tomorrow it will be bullish. I can only tell you, okay, this is what's going on right now. Okay, I can tell you Bitcoin is currently at solo price. Look at what's going on. Look at what the buyers and sellers are currently doing. I think if, if I do like this, do like this, this is what I feel will, will happen. As a trader, you have to think in probabilities, okay? So that's just it. So that's just it. So thank you all. I really appreciate. So I think this is the end of today's meeting. We appreciate you all for um coming through. Rock, once again, thank you. And um, you guys should still be there stand still uh you know stay guided and preserve your capitals okay so always better this this i can tell you and i hope all of us will be patient enough to experience another bull run patience is the key in this space thank you and god bless you patience is also a financial as, as asset in this space in case you don't know thank you and god bless you